Okay guys, this is the answers video where I answer the questions that you guys posted earlier. And I'm just going to go ahead and get right to it. By the way, this is my desktop, just so you know. And here's the questions. I'll just read them off and then give you guys the answers. Uh, number one is from Icewind Dragon. Um, and he asked, what is my favorite Mega Man Battle Network game? Well, for that, I'd have to say Battle Network 2 would, would probably be my favorite. Uh, I really like 3 and 6 also, but if I had to pick just one, I would probably pick 2. So, yeah, there's that. Number 2, question 2, I mean, the guy 595 asked, where is the sneak run program for Battle Network 3? And I'll just kind of look through my handy answers thing down here that I wrote out. And that is to enter in this lotto code down here. Enter that into the number man machine and that gives you the sneak run program. Um, number three, Toronto 2D River asked, what emulator do I use? And of course down here I, I wrote down Visual Boy Advance, which is this thing just so you know. Number four, Nine Tails 20 asks, in Battle Network 3, where do you get the life aura and the dark aura? Well, I had to look that up too, and right down here, I found out that you have to defeat the Scuttles in Secret Area 3, and, it's, and you can also get it through the chip or the bug frag trader. Now, as for dark aura, um, it's a blue exclusive version chip, and you can only get it by beating the Navi time trials in the secret area. So, and number five, several people has asked, um, how do I use the codes? Um, I'll just show that here real quickly um, through Visual Boy Advance. Now, if you're using using ah using an actual game cartridge, you would have to access something like Action Replay or Game Shark. I'll just show you guys. See, Battle Network 3. Let that load here. Then you go into here to the cheat list. And yeah. Um, I haven't actually activated these, but I just have them in case I needed them. So, for the cheats I used, I clicked here through the code breaker, which is pretty well the same as Action Replay. And then you just enter in whatever you want to name the the cheat and then you go and actually enter in the cheat itself and then it ends up on here and you just click the little things to activate them. Um, to actually find cheats I would recommend going through like um, gameshark.com or codejunkies.com or there's several places but yeah that that's where you do the cheats. Um, I got all of my cheats off of Code Junkies, just so you know, the ones that I used in that video, the Hunger Special. And so that's about the end of that. As for number six here, um, S1 Uno asks, in Battle Network 3, where is the Meteor's chip and where is King Man and Mist Man version 5? That's another thing I had to look up. And let's see, number six down here. Um, you had to go to the Bug Frag Trader and Undernet 2 in order to get the Meteor's chip. And now for Mist Man, you go to the DNN uh, Studio Net Battle Machine. And for King Man, you go to the second floor uh, TV board computer in the DNN station for King Man. And so, let's see. Number 7. The S Demon asks, in Battle Network 3, are the style change elements random? Well, the answer to that is yes. As far as I know, every it, the elements are random. Okay, so in number 8 here, in Flame Sands, or Inflements, uh, I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong, but yeah, he asked, in Battle Network 3, how do you hack the last security system? Well, for that, I'm actually going to show that in a later video, but as far as I remember, basically it, it re involves you having to use grass stage along with certain fire chips 
it's real tricky, so just watch for my video whenever I get around to posting it. Now for number 9, Emperor Greymon321 asked, and Battle Network 6, how do you fight Gregor or Fultzer RV version? Um, the answer to that is, you don't. They don't exist in that game. Um, you can only fight the normal or the SP versions of those guys. So yeah, there are no RV. Okay, and number 10, Random Games 2345 asks, how do you upgrade the Navi Cust? And he wanted to know about to do that to use the Alpha program. Um, the short answer to that is you need to get the EXE memory. Um, I showed them both of my videos. One you get automatically f from an email, and the other you get through a job, at least in Battle Network 3. In Battle Network 6, there's also two EXE memories, which I'll show those later on too. And let's see. Number 11 here from the third taxi. Der Mist. Uh, again, sorry if I mispronounce your name. He asked, What is the effect of Shadow Style and how do I face Bass in the secret area? And finally, where is Japan Man version 2? Okay. Um, the effect of Shadow Style basically, if you use charge shots, you become invisible for a couple seconds. Um, and leveling up gives you stuff like float shoes or anti-damage programs um, to face bass in the secret area. Well, to do that, you have to beat Serenade first and then go to the chip trader or the bug frag trader and give them three hunger bug frags. Then you have to leave and come back and bass will appear. Um, Japan Man version 2, actually I don't think I looked that up, but... Um, I'm pretty sure that Japan Man version 2 is found behind the the merchant guy in the secret area 2. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm almost positive of that. Okay, so back to question 12 here. Ice Wind Dragon once again asks, which side beast do I prefer? And now for that, I would probably have to pick Gregor, mainly because... He looks cool, I think, and I really like the transformation that you get compared to the Falter version. So yeah, I'm going to have to pick Gregor. And then, number 13, Dark Ninja 225 asked, What is the special style for Mega Man Battle Network 3 white version? Now for that, I'm going to go back down here through my answer sheet. And that would be the ground style, which you get by using lots of the panel changing type stuff, you know, grass stage, lava stage, metal stage. If you use a lot of that, it'll help to get you that um, style, which is exclusive to the white version. And now, number 14, a lot of people have asked me in several videos and stuff, and I've answered it several times, but they have asked, where do you get the anti-damage chip in Battle Network 3? Well, this is the last time I'm going to answer you guys because I've answered it so many times now. But, um, go to the shop in the Scilab Square and you can buy it there. Once you do, you can buy another one from the Higsby chip order. And you can also find it through the chip or bug rack trader. Just so you know. So yes, that's where you get anti-damage. Um, I know some of you guys have posted other questions, but you did not post it in the right videos and I'm not going to go through like my hunger and something videos looking at each and every question just to make a video response to that um, so if I didn't answer your question or didn't answer it right or something you know just tell me and I might make another one of these sometime um, uh, some of you have also asked where to get ROMs, where to get emulators. Um, on that, I'm just going to say say use Google. Um, I'm not just going to go out and tell you guys because I don't want to like get in any trouble over that. So, yeah, that's pretty much the end of that. And, yeah, this as you can see, I'm using Cam Studio here. And, yeah, these are programs and such. 
And I guess that's about it for this time. I'll see you guys in the next time where I continue with my Battle Network videos. As well as uh, Link to the Past Challenge. So, see you guys next time.